Now we're ready to move on to integration. So with integration, you're concerned about finding out the area underneath the graph. So, so let's say you've got a complicated function here, f of x here. And then you want to find out the area between a and b. So, so to find out the, well, we, we need to develop a technique to finding out the area here. And the way we do that is by, by cutting up, by, by cutting up, um, cut, cutting up. So, so if you get b minus a, that will then give you this whole length here. Okay, b minus a will give you this whole length. The way we, the way we would do this is to cut up into, let's say for, let's keep it simple for the time being. We're going to cut up into four strips. Okay, so so cut up, uh, get b minus a and cut up into four equal pieces, and then we would we would then work out the area of a rectangle here. Okay, and then and then and then later on work out the area of this rectangle, and then work out the area of this rectangle, and then work out the area of this rectangle, and then add up the four areas together, and then that will give us an appro an approximation to our to our area. But the thing is, it's not a very good estimate. So what we do is we, instead of dividing into four equal strips, we would divide it into, let's say, eight equal strips. Okay. The, uh, and then, and then now, now, now we would work out the area of this thing here. Then the area of this thing here. Then the area of this thing here. Then the area of this thing here. And then, and then the area of this thing here. This thing here. And then this thing here. And then this thing here, and then we would add up everything. Now this representation was better than than the four strips earlier. And then and then instead of in, instead of having eight strips, maybe we can do it even more. You see, the more strips we have, the more accurate it will become. So so the idea here is to split it split um, uh, split it up into into uh, strips. And the more strips you have, the the more accurate it will become. So later on, we would take the number of strips to be let's say one thousand or one. 1 million or 1 billion strips and so on. We, we would take the number of strips to infinity and then, and then that would give us a, a true representation of the area. So, so let me just guide you through this. So, hang on, let's start again. So, uh, we want to know the area underneath here. We need to develop a way of working out the area here between, between uh, A and B. And the way we would do that is to get, is to get B minus A. So, so B, uh, hang on. So b minus a, so b minus a will give us this length here. Okay, so get b minus a divided by, let's just keep it simple for the time being, divide into four strips. Okay, so that would then, that would then represent our, let's say our delta x. So delta x is this, this length here. This here is also delta x. This here is also delta x. This here is also delta x. Okay, so um, so uh, so this here is delta x. So delta x is from here to here. So therefore, this length, uh, well, this the 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 x coordinate here will be a plus delta x. Okay, that that's that's this bit here uh, along the along the x axis. Okay, so hang on. So um, so so the area of this thing here. Don't don't forget this bit here is a plus delta x. Okay, so so to work out the area of this uh, rectangle here, we would well, we would then put this a plus delta x here into the original function here. That will then give us this height, because yeah, if if you if if, if the if the if the x coordinate here is a plus delta x here, then th then put the whole number here into the original function. That will then take us straight up to here. Okay, so ba basically this height here is given by by uh, by by this bit here. Okay, so the height here is given by this. Um, because if you think about it, if if let's say this bit here is number three, if you put the number three into the original function here, it will jump straight to up here. Therefore, therefore f f of three is the height of this thing here. The point is that if you want to work out the area of this thing here, you know that this here is a plus delta x. Okay. Um, so if you put this whole thing here into here, then that would then that would then give you um, that would then give you the height. So the height is so so this here is the height. This here is the height of this thing here. And don't forget the the width here is delta x. 
So if you want to know the area of this rectangle here, then you would get the height times the width. So, so the area, so this one particular triangle here is given by this. Okay, I will continue in the next video.